G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to swap this firewall out. Five, four, three, two, one. Old school only is go. <laughs> First things first, we need to get this cap off this chassis and start drilling out some welds. I've been online, there's a few different ways people are doing it. Um, I want to try and use the original fuel tank if I can. If I can't, I can't, but there's no reason why I don't think I can. So we'll try and keep that in there, which means a little bit of modification to the firewall. I have heard of um, people putting a stock firewall straight in and I can see how that would work. It'd just have to be set back a little bit. Um, like I said, I want to use the fuel tank, which is up in the way of that, so we'll see how we go. Let's get into it. kind of like to um, lay this thing on its side up against that wall there, but she's a heavy old chassis. Um, most chassis are about 3mm thick. This has got to be about at least 4 to 5mm, um, being a commercial chassis. And it's got all this extra gear and extra length that um, I don't need. I'm looking forward to trimming this thing down, so I might just push it over for now. It gives us minimal space, but... I don't want to hurt my back. So it's a shame to cut this thing out, but I'm not channeling the car and I don't intend on pinching the chassis. So first thing I will do is, I think the only thing attaching this subframe to this here is that weld on both sides. So I'll cut them out first, then we'll work on the front and start drilling out some uh, spot welds and take out those cowl screws, which might be a challenge also. So we've got a series of screws along the top and then down the sides a spot weld. So first job we'll try and get these screws out without wrecking too much and then we'll start drilling. Let's see how we go. Wish me luck. They all moved. Still got a bit of a job getting them out though. I'll get back to you when that's done. Well that was a punish. Got them though. Righto, so let's start drilling out some of these spot welds, eh?
Righto, so there's the fuel tank inside, which I'd like to keep because it's in good condition. If it was no good, I'd have no issues getting rid of it. But if I get rid of this, I've got to put a fuel tank somewhere else. Might as well just leave it as it is. I've got no problems with that. Um, the next thing I've got to do is to remove this outer band. On the 32 Ford, the cowl isn't bolted to the firewall, from my understanding. It sits over the top with a seal. Um, so there is a flange. I don't know if you can see it underneath. So we'll remove this band and then we'll see what we're going to do then to modify this to get it to sit inside there. I'll tell you what, I know the, uh, the norm is to um, cut a bit out of there to make them fit, but I reckon I could almost squeeze that in because I'm stubborn like that. I'm going to keep trying, and if it doesn't work well, we can put a relief cut in here. But, I don't know, I reckon we might be able to get it up there. But all in all, that's looking not bad. I like it. So I just had a um, cold drink and some time to think. And as much as I reckon I can pull that up and close that gap, I reckon I could do that easily. It's going to have some tension on it. Now, with a Model A, with the fuel tank being part of the dash and cowl assembly, the reason that it had the screws across the top of it is so you can take the fuel tank out. So really I need to make it so I can take the fuel tank out. So what I have to do is make it fit nicely without any stress or pressure so I can put screws and nuts so I can take the fuel tank out. So we will do it the proper way and we'll relief cut both sides and then push it in. So the top will be bolted and then the sides will be tacked in spot welded in like it was originally. Well, there you go. 
sitting in there alright. I've got a couple of bolts holding it in at the top. A um, little bit messy but I just relief cut it in the corners and I can fix it up pretty easily. But yeah, no major stress at all putting that in. She'll uh, get spot welded in the sides. The next job is to work out these mounts because obviously the 32 is a little bit taller. Um, and the other issue that I have, I'm pretty sure that because the chassis sweeps up, I've got to make this sweep up. And then they're going to sweep up a little bit, which they do anyway. So I'm just trying to work out now how I'm going to go about that. A little bit of sun in my eyes. But sacrilege or awesomeness, you tell me. I think that's worked out pretty good. I've got a little bit to work out um, as far as mounting the cab to the body. So that'll be another episode. But as we go along, we'll finish this off. But there's not much more to do, really. To finish it off, I've got a spot weld it down the sides. I've got a drill and bolt the top. I've got to fix up where I've sliced it. And I've got to fix all these holes. There's tons of holes. So there's a bit of work to do. But that'll get done when the bodywork gets done. But I'm really happy. And I can use the original fuel tank. So anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. What are you doing laying in the oil? You goose. Come on, get out of there.